I love doing photography. I've always had that passion. Um, and seeing my work printed is a, is a completely different medium than seeing, seeing it behind a 13-inch screen. So um, when I am able to display, when I am able to print it, I actually start to notice certain details that I haven't seen before. So um, for me, I kind of rediscover my own stuff. It almost feels like a different person took it. <laughs> for me, it's just a way to decompress. Um, different people have different ways of kind of meditating and it's just a way where I can get away from the mental chatter and focus on one thing at a time. And as a matter of fact, like I recalibrate my mind to see things in a very particular way. And as I observe things in um, a more intensive way, I, I just see world in a slightly different way as I would if I didn't intentionally did it that way. I'm a very curious person, so um, it could be a good thing and a bad thing. But basically, I'll just end up walking for hours and then whatever attracts me, um, I'll end up photographing that. Um, I kind of went about it backwards. So I, I've looked through five to six years of my work to see what I get attracted by and um, kind of a mix of weird things. So it's, it'll be mannequins and birds and um, buildings, lots of deep shadows uh, complemented by, um, by, by light, as well as um, kind of more a combination of architecture and human presence. As a child, I, I saw um, Salvador Dali's work and that just blew my mind. Um, it was a combination of kind of real, contorted reality with lots of hidden meanings and you can keep staring at an art piece and just keep finding something else. Um, so when I, um, when I photograph things, I, I wouldn't say it's in the back of my mind, but um, I certainly try to blend kind of the background, foreground, and the object itself into something that uh, has more of a meaning than just taking a photo of someone.